Welcome to the first of my concise NetHack videos about ascending a tourist character in NetHack. My game is already underway. I've completed the mines and Sokoban, so that's everything described in my early game strategy video, which you may want to check out. And I've also already started the quest. I've explored the first level of the quest, but you can see I'm only experienced level 12, so I wasn't able to go past the first level in the quest. I plan to make as many of these videos about one to two hours long as it takes for me to ascend this character. Since I've already completed the mines and Sokoban, my chances are pretty good that I'll be able to ascend this character, especially because I've been lucky in a couple of ways. First thing I want to do is show you my current inventory. You can see I've got an amulet of reflection, which is great, uh, so I don't get zapped by those beam weapons. Um, I found a scimitar, a curved sword, fairly early in the game, and I was lucky that it was uh, blessed and plus one. I'm playing a pre-release of NetHack version 3.7, and in 3.7, uh, when you train for a scimitar, you're also training your silver saber skill. So I was lucky. I love to ascend my tourists with sabers, and I was able to train up my scimitar, not too expert, but too skilled. And then when I did find a silver saber, I was already trained to, to skilled in it. Um, I plan on ascending with this silver saber and gray swan deer with a little luck. But I had enough scrolls of enchant weapon that I was able to get this up to plus six. I've also got a stack of daggers, and I'm collecting elven daggers here as soon as I get six or seven elven daggers, I'll drop my daggers and just carry a stack of elven daggers to throw. My armor, I'm in pretty good shape. I was lucky and found a plus two dwarvish mithril coat. My preferred armor for the early game is mithril, and then for the late game, it's dragon scale mail. As I mentioned, I was lucky. I found gauntlets of power. I love So this is part of my Ascension kit. I love Gauntlets of Power. They give you a strength of 19 that displays as 25. And uh, I use Scrolls of Enchant Armor to enchant this up to plus 2. And you see it's rust, rust proof here. Um, I used a Curse Scroll of Enchant Armor while... No, Curse Scroll of Destroy Armor while I was confused to make it rust proof. Proof. I'm still wearing an elven leather, leather helm and jack boots. I'll ditch those when I get something better, but a blessed uh, cloak of magic resistance is also in my ascension kit. Armor's decent. Uh, carry food rations like I usually do. I found a few rings, and uh, I love rings of increased damage when I'm a tourist. I'll show you why later. Uh, I'm just carrying a few wands here. Um, I got my bag of holding, stethoscope, uh, blindfold for seeing monsters with my telepathy. I found a uh, magic lamp. I price identified regular lamps and then I found another and named them. And then I found an unnamed lamp so I knew it was a magic lamp. Um, you see my pickaxe and I always carry a unicorn horn in main inventory. I got a blessed luck stone and a blessed touchstone for identifying gems. So first thing I want to do is use my magic lamp and try to get a wish and get grace one deer wish me luck here i've got my magic lamp i dipped it in a potion of holy water so it's blessed i have an 80 percent chance of getting a wish with this magic lamp pound rub what do i want to rub my magic lamp l the genie speaks i am in your debt okay lucky i got my wish for what do you wish? Blessed, fixed. I don't really have to if you have to fix silver sabers because they can't corrode, right? Plus two gray swan deer. Now gray, gray swan deer is a lawful weapon, if I remember right. I'm a neutral character here, so there's a chance this will blast me. But with my 109 hit points, I'm okay. I can take some blasting. There it is, my silver saber. Now I'm two weaponing. I'm going to drop my offhand weapon, DT. I got to deal with a uh, an elf here first, or a group of them. And after, oh, let's wield, I wield my magic lamp because I was running it. <laughs> All right, five dot. Either if you get your elves to line up, they'll shoot each other with arrows, which is nice, five dot. You see, the uh, 
The one elf should try to shoot me, hit the other elf five dot to wait for him to step on the altar. I want to kill my opponents on the altar, and I killed the gray elf. And so I've got here a mithril coat. There's a scroll of destroy armor. Those are great. Two of those uh, elves gave me uh, corpses. Let's offer them. Offer, yes. Feeling of reconciliation. I'm just going to pray. Um, well, please. And I got stealth, which is great. It's not as helpful in 3.7, NetHack 3.7, as it was in 3.6. Let's offer the other one. Uh, actually, I'm not sure in this game if I've got sleep resistance or not. So let's eat him. All right. Now I got some uh, stuff here. I got a couple of daggers here. And I want to pick up that scroll of destroy armor. Scrolls always go in my bag. I be in the... Uh, Putting items in with a Shift P command is new in 3.7. It's awesome. I'm going to put in P, and it'll list the items I just picked up. I want to put in my Destroy Armor Scroll. I'll deal with it later. Now I want to clean up the garbage here. I don't need anything else here. Let's see how much of it I can carry. Yeah, I'm burdened, but I got it all. Go to my stash. Drop what? P. Items I just picked up. Shift P. It lists them all. I'll drop them all. And I'm going to drop X. I'm going to drop all my weapons that I have not yet identified. There's my Grace One Deer, and we got some blessed daggers and regular daggers. All right. The reason I drop them here is so that I can identify them and stack them with other weapons. You can see I've got three blessed elven daggers. I don't know. This one's identified. All right. I'll deal with that later. Right now, I'm excited about my Grace One Deer. I'm going to adjust my regular saber to T. I'll adjust A to T and look at my, okay, I got uh, Grace One Deer and J. I'll adjust J to A. So we wield T, wield A, and then I do Shift X to begin two weapon combat. If I type the parenthesis, left, uh, right parenthesis, you can see I've got my blessed Grace One Deer in my right hand and my plus six silver saber in my left hand. I'm in good shape. Um, I don't need my scimitar anymore. I'll kick that. I kicked it into my stash, uh, draw, pick up these arrows, drop P, drop them, and okay, now that I got Grace Wand Dare, I got my gauntlets of strength, and I've got my cloak of magic resistance, I'm in good shape to, for the quest. Um, the bosses in 3.7 are all buffed. When I uh, am ready to encounter any boss, the, I always make sure that I have in my inventory a blessed scroll of teleportation. So I get out my scrolls, and I was lucky, and I got a blessed scroll of teleportation. Stash that in my bag of holding that I'm carrying, and when I do get to the quest, when I get to the bottom level, as soon as I encounter the quest nemesis, I'm going to use my blessed scroll of teleportation to teleport to the stairs. In uh, the Blessed Scrolls of Teleportation are better in 3.6 or 3.7 and 3.6 because it'll ask me where I want to teleport to. Okay, I could sit here and say 555 dot forever and monsters will appear, but I'm only on dungeon level 7. The deeper I go in the dungeon, the stronger the monsters will be and the quicker I will get uh, gain experience points by killing them. So you can see every time you kill a monster, your experience points change. When I hit 40,000 experience points, I'm going to advance to experience level 13. That's only, you know, 2,300 or so experience points. That won't be a whole lot. What I hope to do is ex uh, advance to experience level 13 um, by killing monsters. Then hopefully I can find a succubus or a potion of gain level to get my experience level 14 so I can go on my quest. Let's head down. I use the move to command with the underscore character and then hit dot to go to the under, so it's uh, underscore greater than dot. Uh, so underscore greater, underscore greater than dot takes you to the downstairs and then greater than again takes you down. I just want to get deeper in the dungeon here so the monsters get meaner. Now, this is level 11, and I found the magic portal. I'll show you quickly what I found in the magic portal level. Nice, an ogre king. Let's eat just because I don't know how hungry I am, and it satiated me. Um, I don't like to be satiated because it damages my dexterity, but so be it. I'm going to step through the magic portal, 
um, you end up stunned. Be careful that you don't wander around stunned or you can fall in the water. But you can see here, um, there's a graveyard for tourists on their main level, quest first level. Um, there were like four, maybe five wraiths here, at least four. I lured them all to the upstairs, took them up and killed them, and I didn't get a single wraith corpse. Usually, if you're level 12 as a tourist, you can start your quest because you'll get a couple of wraiths that you can lure to the previous level and kill and eat and advance your experience level. Didn't happen to me. I uh, Anyway, I explored this level. There's nothing great here left anymore. I'm going to just sit on this magic portal, Alt-S. I'm even dizzier. I'm going to use my unicorn horn, apply you, apply you, and now I'm um, no longer stunned. Let's head down and uh, see if we can kill a few uh, monsters and gain experience level 13. i got a peaceful gray unicorn there. I'm neutral. He's neutral. Don't kill unicorns that are neutral. He confused me. You're confused. Um, you apply my unicorn horn. Um, anyway, you get unconfused when you apply your unicorn horn. Unicorn horns are not as valuable in 3.7 as they were in 3.6 because they do not um, regain attribute levels that you've lost. You have to pray or use a potion of restorability to get those back. Dungeon level 13. Let's go to 14. Okay. Um, I'm in my um, hack level, the old level. I don't like this level because there's not good stuff. I want to get off it as quickly as I can. But let's explore and find the downstairs. Kill the bat. Monsters don't leave corpses. The original first version of NetHack was called Rogue. This is the Rogue level from back in the late 80s. And then there was NetHack, and then there was Hack 22 Search. Uh, and this is a, a throwback to the olden days. Still looking for the downstairs. 22 Search, 22S. And so... There are nine, up to nine rooms in the rogue level. You can see that there is no room here, but I need to find the room, the room that might be here and the room that might be here. I'm going to search for a hidden door, 22 search, 22 search, didn't find it. There may be one here, 22 search, Pit Viper, 22 search, didn't find it. So let's head back. I'll just go to the upstairs, head over here. And there we got downstairs. Anything else? I don't need to explore the whole level because there's nothing good here. Potion called Juice. Don't care. I'm going to explore this level, dungeon level 16. Um, when I come to a new level, before I do anything that might wake monsters or get me in trouble, like kicking a door, put on my blindfold or my towel, and you can see I've got probably a, anyway, um, a zoo level or something there, a zoo room. I'll remove E. Take off my blindfold. And when you see a dirium in early levels, there will be a hidden magic portal to the to a vault full of money. 22 search, open it. Yes, unlock it with my key. 22 search, and there's a level teleporter. Once you get past the early levels, uh, dirium marks can mark a level teleporter. Close that so I don't. Uh, fall in. I'm not going to kick doors on this level because we have sleeping monsters. And a Zan stung me, and so I'm burdened, and now I'm not as fast as I was. I'm going to kill the Zan, and I'm going to step out of the room. That's a peaceful plain centaur. Hmm. I've got a ring of conflict. You know what? I'm strong enough that I can take these monsters on. It was a small zoo. If I get in trouble, I can run away. Um, I had a wand of speed monster. I zapped it myself, so I'm fast. I'm not very fast yet. I'm going to shift F to fight. I want to fight this centaur. Uh, I killed him in one blow. I hit him with my grace wand deer and killed him. Um, you don't want to kill too many peaceful monsters like that because it can damage your alignment. But you can recover by killing more uh, hostile monsters. Kill the unicorn. Since my armor class is only level 5, the monsters are doing some significant damage to me. So I just need to be careful. And there's my potion of gain level. Awesome. Pick it up. B, and also pick up the uh, 
unicorn horn for poly fodder. IDN shift P, put both of those in my bag. You put your spell books, scrolls, and potions in your bag so you don't lose them by burning them. And I'm just attacking here. In 3.7, you can kill vampire bats that turn into vampires. So I got a vampire lord. I'm going to step back out of the doorway so only one monster can hit me at a time. I'm going to surprise this vampire lord by hitting him because I've got two silver sabers and they'll both do extra damage. Boom. So, Grace One Deer, there's a vampire's lord's flesh. I hit him with the other one. And if I use my stethoscope to apply C that way, I almost killed him with the one hit. Zutries are strong. My, I got half my points are gone. And the long worm. And my, my legs felt better. I'm going to do control P. If a message scrolls by and you don't see it, do control P. And it repeats previous commands. The more you hit it, the further back you go. So that Zan stung me and injured me, but now I'm feeling better. All right. my I did a 55 dot just to kill some time. Some people do search, like 55 search. I just do dot. So let's see what we got in this room. The Zan got some gold. Wand of Create Monster. I'll keep that. I be stash J. Stash it in case I run into a shocking sphere that will zap my wands. And a Potion of Object Detection. I could pick that up for um, poly fodder, but I'm not going to. All right, let's finish exploring dungeon level 16. I'm almost, with the monsters in that zoo, I'm almost at 40,000. Kick the door. Kill the Zutri. Don't need to eat him. Zutris are good nutrition. Big monsters. Kill. I can hit acid blobs with my silver sabers because they won't corrode. Let me stash my identify a large box. I have a key. Alt L for loot. Take out everything. I got tins and a spell book for create monster. Love it. I be stash Q. Put my spell book in my bag so it doesn't get burned. Kick the door, and kick the door. I saw a yeah, a uh, quantum mechanic. When he hits you, he can teleport you. My armor class is only minus five, so it's not great. He can teleport me, but I killed him. Fountain. Love fountains. I'll be back for that fountain. I got something invisible here. Let's kill it. I can use my stethoscope. I see that way. It's an invisible stalker. They can be nasty. And control P. Welcome to experience level 13. I just hit 40,000 experience points. There's an option you can set to see not just your experience level, but also your points. Let's head upstairs. I don't want to quaff my potion of gain level here because it might be cursed, in which case it would just move me up the stairs. Don't want to waste it that way. And I want to go up to my stash where the altar is. And before I do... Should I kill another centaur? He's running away. Shift F for fight. And I made him angry. And I've, I should probably eat him. Good. Um, now before I... Whoops. Up. Before I um, try anything like praying, I should regain my damaged alignment by killing a few more monsters. Whoops. Like that one. Kill him. This is just a scroll to create monster. I don't usually collect those unless I want to... Blinded by a blast of light. When you're blind, look around... When you have telepathy, make sure there are no monsters on the level that you care about. Uh, use so I can see. I apply my unicorn horn so I can see. And this was kale uh, kale kaleidoscopic light. This should make me hallucinate. But uh, one of the effects of Grace One Deer is you can't hallucinate. So I seem unaffected. In a little while, my vision will flatten and return to normal. That's when the hallucination... Um, uh, stops, but I'm just going to swap my or uh, wield minus, and you can see when I'm not wielding Grace One Deer, I am hallucinating. All right, wield A. It blasted me. Nobody cares. Everything looks boring because I'm not hallucinating. Shift X. Oh, wield T. Wield A. Shift Shift X. So now I'm two weaponing again. Verify that, and let's go up to my altar. Oh, there it was. The message. Your vision seems to flatten. You only see that if you're hallucination proof, like by wielding Grace One Deer. Okay, now to take everything that's uncursed. I mean, uh, that's un the the 
buck status is un unidentified. Let's pull out that octagonal amulet, DU. Um, what I do is I carry items in my bag until I can get back to my altar, my stash, drop them on the altar to identify their status. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, even if it were an, an amulet of life-saving, I'm not convinced that I would definitely use it now. Let's see what uh, amulets have already identified. Two ages to do that. You can hit the backslash key, and it shows you everything that you've identified. The only amulets I've identified are reflection and flying. An amulet of flying is new in NetHack 3.7. It's like a ring of levitation. Um, so uh, I can't move it. Okay. A loot stash. Um, what do I want to stash? I'm going to put that octagonal amulet in the box for now. I was saying there are two ways to see what you've identified. One is the backslash key. The other is the back tick key. And I could have said amulets there with the uh, quote key, and it would show me the, amul the, the amulets I've identified. Take other, apply B, other stuff out of my bag. Apply B out. Let's take out all my scrolls, except for I want to carry my identify and my um, blessed uh, teleportation with me in case I need either one of those, but I'll take out everything else. Drop, shift, P, items I just picked up. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Put those back in. Apply the out scrolls. Get all the scrolls by hitting question mark. Then type E and G to unselect those two. Take out everything else. Drop P, drop them all, and have a. Uh, I got another blessed scroll of teleportation. I can put that one in my bag. Everything else I'm going to stash for now in, my, in the chest. Stash I, pick up everything, and I'll loot in scrolls. They all go in. Let's look. I'll loot out. What do I want to get scrolls? I want to see my enchant armor. I've only got one enchant armor, but I do have two scrolls of enchant weapon. Let me see how many uh, potions of, of uh, holy water I have. Loot out potions. I've only got four. I don't have very many potions. But before I go on my quest, I'm going to pull one of those out, one E, loot out scrolls, and get two of those enchant weapons, both of them, J, and I'm going to say Alt-Dip, my enchant weapon scrolls, W, into what? N, and I have two scrolls of enchant weapon. I think uh, my, well, I wished for a blessed plus two silver saber, so that's either plus zero or plus two. Either way, I can enchant it twice. I'm two weaponing, but the scrolls of enchant armor will only affect your main weapon. So I'm going to read. What I want to read, I always verify that I'm that my scrolls are really blessed and they're really enchant weapon. Um, I'm going to say W. So we can assume I went from plus two to plus four or five. I'm safe to enchant my weapon one more time. Control A to repeat the previous action. And it vibrates unexpectedly. I may have a plus seven grace one deer now. You can only enchant things. Oh, it only went for a moment, so it only went up one level, not two levels. <laughs> All right. Finish emptying out my bag. I need out uh, potions. Pull out the potions. There's my gain level. D-E. You want to make sure you're not levitating when you drop potions on an altar, because if you're levitating, they'll smash on the altar. It's an uncursed potion of gain level. I want to be experienced level 14, so let's quaff that guy. Q, shift E. Excellent. What else am I carrying in my bag? I apply B, out, all. Let's see what I got. Um, yeah, I messed up when I pulled stuff out. I'll just keep the magic mapping for now. I got an unidentified spell book and a spell book of create monster. I carry all my spell books back to my stash because even if the spell they have is no good for me, like I'm not strong enough to cast it, they're decent poly fodder that with a wand of polymorph. Drop spell books. Okay, I learned the create monster spell. I always put that, oh, uh, I should put that in the C slot. So I'm going to, I type the plus command to list my spells. I'm going to move I to C, create monster, I always put there. And you can see the other ones I got. The only ones that are really good for me now are remove curse, but I'm not smart enough to cast it yet, but I'll get that later on. And create monster is good too, but I'd have to take off my 
mithril armor if I wanted to cast it. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm going to read this unidentified red spell book so that I can figure out what it is. But I don't want to do that with money in my inventory or with bad monsters on the level. So apply B stash dollars to put my money in the uh, in the bag. Put E. I don't see any monsters while I'm blind. Remove E. If I had lenses, I'd wear them now, but I don't have lenses. This could be very dangerous. It can stun me and a monster can come kill me. So everybody cross your fingers. Read Q. And I learned Confuse Monster. That was a low-level spell. If I type the plus command, you can see that now I've learned a level one enchantment spell, Confuse Monster. If I type Alt-E, you can see what I can train up. Oh, I'm going to train up Dagger from Basic. And now Alt-E again. And um, Tourist can... In, to become more skilled in divination, enchantment, and escape spells. All right, good. All right, pick up the other spell book and stash them. Loot in spell book. Put both of those in. Do I have anything else in my bag I want to take out? All. I be out all. Uh, I got some wands in there. What's a black onyx ring? Black onyx rings. I identify my rings by dropping it on an altar. D U. Okay, I'm wearing no rings at all put you on my right hand. It did not self-identify. Do I have a wand of enlightenment? Um, not in my main inventory. Got a wand of death. Okay. Out. Oops. I be out. Look in my bag for not scrolls, but wands. I don't have enlightenment there. Loot out wands. Got a whole lot of wands, but I don't see enlightenment. So... Um, if you have a Wand of Enlightenment, you can put on a ring, zap the wand, and might you might learn something about it. But so far, I don't know anything about it. Remove, you, IB stat. I'll stick it in a bag to protect it. And I want to put on my plus one ring of increased damage. There's no reason not to. All right, anything else in my bag? Oh, yeah, K and L. I don't want to carry these guys. My stone and my extra unicorn horn loot in shift P. Put those guys in, and I'm ready to go on my quest. Um, verify that I have a blessed scroll of teleportation in my bag. Let's head down to the quest portal. As I mentioned, I've already cleared the, the uh, first level, but now I can clear this. I can actually enter the quest. I'm stunned by going from going through the magic portal. Apply my unicorn horn until I'm no longer stunned. Let's kill that gas spore. Fire. So I'm going to fire to the right because um, if I look at my weapons with shift I, right parenthesis, you can see that I've got um, four plus zero uh, daggers at the ready. So I can use the F command to use the, to uh, use up those. Another ring of protection. I keep all my rings for polyfodder, IB, stash, E, put it in my bag. Um, and oh, I'm hungry. No problem. I've got a little bit of food. Wear jackal. I won't worry about him. Spiders can be poisonous, but I don't care. I'm poison resistant. Let's kill and eat the centaur. And I'm confused. Eat the centaur, stop, eat the centaur. I stop eating when a monster shows up. Okay, I've eaten the centaur. Did anybody leave me anything worth having? And I've got a piranha attacking me from the water. There's nothing there. Kick the door down. I've already been in these rooms. Um, I actually used conflict in here to kill some of the apprentices, but some of them have potions of healing, which are nice, but uh, they used them up. All right. Uh, one of the nice things about Gauntlets of Dexterity is you can tear through webs. All right, there's my quest leader. I don't read what he says. Um, I'm experienced level 14, so I'll be fine. He's sitting on a throne, and I think he's sitting on a chest on the throne, but I'll use that chest and throne when I get back. All right, I've got on my quest now, I'm going to have four or five of these levels before I get down to the quest nemesis level. So I want to explore here and pick up any good stuff. IV stash F in my bag. I always put my bag in inventory slot B. 
so I don't have to look to see. I'm carrying too much to get through, but that's okay. Apply P. My pickaxe is always in P. Take that way. Wield T. Wield A. Shift X to go into two weapon mode. I've set the um, uh, the option that lets me go into to two weapon mode by just typing X. All right. Um, I've got a couple giants on this level. I like giants because they can increase your strength when you eat their corpse. Don't technically need it because I've got my gauntlets of dexterity, but um, I'm going to try and eat him anyway. Um, full healing. I wish I could have killed him before he quaffed that. Um, soldier. Okay, I got some soldiers to kill. And he didn't satiate me. That's good. Always check your junk piles to look for something good. Check my food status. I've still I got two tins. I always carry tins. I probably should have seen if they were cursed, but carry them because uh, they might be spinach, and you can um, uh, gain strength from that. Even though technically I don't need it, I don't think it'll help my skill level. This is a potion of confusion. What do you do with potions of confusion? You pick them up and you say Alt D to dip. What do you want to dip? U. What do you want to dip it into? That potion of confusion, and it clears. It's a potion of water. Save your water, I, and then stick it in your bag. Stash J. An oak wand. I don't know what this oak wand is, but I'm going to find out. Um, I've explored this level. Let's head downstairs. I'm going to zap. Let's see, do I know ones of digging? Back tick, wands. Do I know digging? Yes, I do. So I know that my wand is not digging. I'm going to zap it at the spider to see what it is. I was worried about zapping the wand of digging and digging through this wall and um, maybe waking the guys that were in there. But I'm going to zap. What do you want to zap? My new oak wand, L. It did nothing. Oh, if it doesn't do anything at all, I think it is... Um, secret door detection. I'll name object L. Secret door. Okay. Now, I don't want to kick any doors or anything here because I don't want to wake everybody up. There is a graveyard on this level for tourists. Um, so where I can, I'm going to lure my wraiths upstairs off the graveyard level. Verify that they are not standing on the stairs. You don't attack a wraith that's standing on stairs because it may head back downstairs. But where he is, I can kill him. And he left me a corpse. With a little luck, I can gain a level and go from experience 14 to 15. Eat it. Yes. Welcome to experience level 15. Awesome. I've got enough wands of digging, I think, in my bag. Huh. I'll stash this one. Maybe stash Q. K. Um, I'm going to explore this entire level. Here's the graveyard. And now I have stealth. And I may be able to kill these zombies without waking everybody up. But look at all those wraiths. I would love to uh, eat all of them. So what I'm going to do here, I'll scroll of enchant weapon. The stash U. And I'm going to kick this spider corpse. Kicking, even if you kick nothing at all, it wakes up nearby monsters. Like, I probably should have killed that at zombie, but it'll wake up all those wraiths. You don't want to attack them on this level. You want to lure them upstairs. So when they're standing next to the stairs, you go upstairs, verify that they're not standing on the stairs, kill them. He did not leave me a corpse. It, it gives you a message about... You know that this time, you, you don't worry about the messages. They try and hurry you along. Take your time. There's no hurry. I'm going to go upstairs, and both the soldier and the wraith followed me. Kill the wraith. Did not leave me a corpse. Neither did the soldier. You notice how I'm killing so many monsters with a single hit with my highly enchanted Grace One Deer and your, my highly enchanted other saber. I'm going to type Alt-E. You can see that I'm as skilled as possible in two-weapon combat. I'm as skilled as possible in Saber, even though it doesn't show the hashtag like it's supposed to. Um, so I'm kind of deadly. Um, tourists are really weak in the beginning game, but you get this far and they're much less weak. Now he's standing on the stairs. I'm going to lure him away a little bit. Five dot, kill him. 
Wander of Sleep, don't need it. Um, next customer, he left me a corpse. Eat him, experience level 16. Dot. And the Wraith rummages through a large box that's new in 3.7. They can take, he just took something out of that box probably. Let's go upstairs, he follows me, kill him. He didn't take anything out of the large box he had, so there's probably nothing worthwhile in it. Somebody's got a wand of cold. That'll uh, freeze the pool of water there. That's okay. Kill the soldier critter. I have a amulet of reflection, so I'm not worried about wands like that. But there is a potion here. Let's potion of hallucination. That's good. Love hallucination. Go upstairs. Now the trip over a sphere because I was on ice. Um, all right. The Wraith is touching me, and with only armor class minus five, she might drain me a level, he or she. But I'm standing next to two Wraiths now and a soldier. They're probably going to all follow me upstairs. One to fire. Good thing I picked up that potion. Oh, this is something you don't see often. So somebody zapped a wand of cold, froze the ice. A soldier stepped onto the ice. Somebody else zapped a wand of fire, melted the ice, and drowned the soldier. Okay. Now there's steam. This is something else new in 3.7. I have protection, magic cancellation. Uh, I think I'm uh, magic cancellation 2 with my cloak of magic resistance. Um, when that protects you from a special attack, like something biting you or clawing you, um, it tells you if your magic cancellation stops that attack, which in this case it did. I think the Wraith tried to do a drain level on me, but my magic cancellation too protected me. Now, we still have a Wraith here in the steam that happened by zapping the wand of fire. There, we got the steam. I'm going to go upstairs. Upstairs, and I'm on the staircase. Let's kill the two Wraiths, and I got one corpse. Eat it. Experience level 17. Oh, okay. All right. And what is, here's the uh, scroll of destroy armor. I always keep those in case they're cursed or in case I can curse them. I stash that, loot the box out, take everything out. A potion of enlightenment. That's good. A blessed potion of enlightenment will boost your intelligence and wisdom. I'm going to take A and might as well get the dollars as well. Even though I got all the money I can use. M, shift P, put them in my bag. Okay, the steam's gone. Uh, now we can clean up the critters here. Kill the sergeant. Kill the spider. Kill the sergeant. This quest level has a lot of soldiers on it. They're all awake. They're coming after me. But I should be okay. A uh, potion of sleeping. All right, it's time for me to stop and remember. I want to know what my smoky potions are. I'm going to say back tick, exclamation point. This will show me all my potions, their original appearance, and what I've identified them to be. I'm looking for smoky potions. I got cloudy. I think those can contain ghosts. Smoky is sleeping. I remembered right. Save all your smoky potions. If possible, bless them and um, quaff them. I've got sleep resistance, so I can quaff this now. But there's a chance you can get a wish out of a smoky potion. <clears throat> IV stash. J. I put even though monsters are hitting me, I'm gonna stash it right now so nobody destroys it. Coming back. Petting zombie. Am I on the stairs? Try move to no stairs are here. You can't tell when there's junk on them. You want to be careful and not fall in those pools too. I gotta watch my hit points because I got three monsters hitting me here. But I'm okay. Down to 110. That, uh, what is it? A um, cave spider hiding under an object there, so it shows as an invisible monster since it's hitting me. Probably should have left it there. There's another one there now because uh, a more powerful monster can't attack me from that location while the cave spider is sitting there. All right, now we're going to clean up. There's nothing here I want. An elven dagger, I want that. Let's pick up, oh, there's a ghost. See the ghost right there? 
Okay, kill the ghost, pick up the junk, drop it in a corner. And let's check out everything that they drop looking for good stuff. I check for good weapons, but I don't care about weapons. I got the best weapons I could have. But let's look for magical armor. Don't see any. We got some corpses. Wand of fire, I don't care about now. Here, um, looking for good armor, don't see any. Nothing there. Giant spider in here. Actually, I should look for weapons because sometimes these guys will carry an artifact weapon. And it I think it boosts your score. It does boost your score if you ascend with an artifact weapon. Weapon. Leather gloves. Jack boots. Love to get some speed boots. Got a faded pall. That's an elven cloak. And it's um, good poly fodder. Going to pick up my potions. Haven't identified either of those. Uh, what else should I pick up? Um, a wand of create monster. Why not? I can empty that, and I can recharge it with my platinum Yandoran Express card that I'm going to get on this quest. Tools. Not good. Ivy stash V. All right. Um, there is a shop there. Let's visit the shop. Open the door in that direction. Throw star. P down. I just threw my pickaxe on the floor. Why did I throw my pickaxe on the floor? Because I've got auto pickup turned on, and if I throw something and then pick it up, it will uh, auto, or then I move back over that square, it will auto pick it up. To throw something down, you say throw asterisk, pick the item, and use the greater than key to throw it down. All right, we got a general store. Let's see if we got anything good. Another silver saber. Awesome. Not as good as the one I got. A bag that only costs three dollars. My charisma is not awesome. That, if I were charisma eighteen, that bag would probably cost two dollars. A bag that's only two or three dollars is a sack. Alt name with the alt n. What do I want to name? An object on the floor. F. And now I position with the with my keystrokes. I want to position this. Call a bag. This is a sack. Don't care about sex because I got a bag of holding. I want that because you can dip your unicorn horn into it, turn it into water, and then turn it into holy water. There's probably a mimic right next to me here that's pretending to be a statue of a centaur. A small mimic, worthless piece of cloth spellbook. I want it. Scroll of identify. I want it. Amnesia. I hate it. If I, uh, you can use them for poly fodder, but that's about all they're good for now. Undead turning. Yes. I want Undead Turning. Why do I want Undead Turning? Because um, my armor is a Dwarvish Mithril Coat. If I can find a Silver Dragon, if I kill him, he might leave me Silver but Dragon Scale Males. The Silver Dragon Scales. Um, if he doesn't, and I have enough Wands of Undead term, Turning, I can resurrect for a chance of getting Scale Mail. Uh, dragon Scales. I be out dollars. I be out dollars. Um, I'm carrying too much gold. Take out three thousand dollars. Pay itemized billing. No, this is all the stuff I bought. Now he'll get out of my way. Um, first thing I'm going to do: Alt Dip. What do I want to dip? You, my unicorn horn, into E. It clears its water. Alt Dip. You into W. I'm going to put in all the stuff. i got a lot of stuff here. Uh, put in my Faded Paul, my Scrolls of Identify, my Spell Books, my Potions. don't know what that Coral Ring is. Let's put in my Secret Tour Detection, my Undead Turning. I don't want to carry all those ones of teleportation in my main inventory. I'll just carry one good charged one. And that's it. Put them all in my bag. All right, let's explore this level. You know how miserable soldier ants are when you're in your early levels? It's nice to be powerful. Okay, I have a soldier with a wand of death. I'm not afraid for two reasons. One, I've got a cloak of magic resistance, and the other is I've got a amulet of reflection. But I'm going to step out of his line of fire this way, and I don't want him to use those charges. I'll be able to get him back with my Platinum Indorian Express card, but that's just five dot, five dot, five dot, and kill the soldiers as they come to the doorway. He is probably not going to zap me with that wand standing right next to me. If I were standing here, he might 
end up here and zap me again through the doorway. But I don't want him to use five dot, five dot, five dot. Come on, 55 dot. But I don't want him to use those charges. Okay, I may have already killed him. There we go. Five dot. Let's risk it and stand here. And anything good? Rusty helmet, some food. There's the wand of death. Okay, great. My stash. What I want to stash that wand of death I just picked up. I'd be in shift P, wand of death. Okay, they had a chest, alt loot. So yes, unlock it out. I don't care about the scroll of light. I like potions of speed. Let me in shift P. From all in, 22 search. This is my first time here. Yes, I know there's a hidden room there. Not much in it. Uh, I don't want to eat him. It's been a while since I've eaten, but um, I'll eat my tins. Yeah. Huh. French fried food made my gauntlet very slippery. Do I have a towel? Nope, I just have a blindfold. So I just drop my cool weapons here. Um, for, I can't wield them again for a minute. Drop. I'm going to drop my tin, my other tin, because I know it's greased. 55 dot. That should be enough. Wield T, wield A. Nope, not enough. 55 dot. Wheel T, wheel A, shift X. All right, they no longer slip from my hands. The grease wears off, but if you have a towel, you can wipe. You can apply it and uh, fix the problem immediately. No, no, don't want to kick because I'll wake up everything. Nothing in the hidden room. Kill the spider. Food ration, don't need. Just leave the food there. Plaid spell book. Stick it in my bag. Chest, loot it. Okay, uh, yeah, I want those. Okay, have a bag of holding. I'm burdened. I'm going to put in the things I just picked up. And is my bag of holding blessed? It is, so I can put a lot of stuff in there. I should not be carrying around 20,000 gold pieces. Speaking of which, I'll put in the gold that I am carrying. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to finish the quest um, without going back to my stash and dropping off my stuff. I could have done it. Put the remove curse in there. Another potion of hallucination. Pick it up. I'll dip U into E. Stash E. All right. Exploring the quest level there. I'm hungry. Food detection. Don't care. Food detection, still don't care. I'll uh, find something to eat here soon. I can eat an acid blob. Doesn't give you much nutrition. Neither do uh, giant spiders, but they do give some. All right, nothing there I want. Where did it say? Oh, I usually don't eat lizard corpses because I carry one in my, okay, eat the spider. I always carry a lizard corpse in case I get stoned by a cockatrice. But I don't need two, and I don't need to pick up that one. Eat it. Rotten egg. Apply my unicorn horn. Okay. Eat it. Wand of striking. I don't care. I don't think. I do have a wand of striking in my inventory. If I were to pick it up, then a monster wouldn't zap it at me. Search to find the door. Open it. But striking won't hurt me. I've got magic resistance. Control P. There's a boulder trap. Okay, got a hidden room. Nothing there. Find a web. Don't care. What's this? Bubbly potion. I've, I think that's the second one I'm carrying. We'll go identify those at my altar. Search. Okay, I'm going to explore this whole level and then maybe head back. Food rations, don't care. All right, we got a few rooms with some uh, lots of critters in them. Opal ring, I'll take it. 22 search, open it, don't kick it. Okay, this level always has, or this room always has a couple of unlabeled scrolls and a throne. Put the scrolls, whoops. 
in my bag, a green gem. I haven't identified it, but I do have a blessed touchstone. Apply my blessed touchstone on P. You apply blessed touchstones to gems to identify them. Put it in my bag. I'm going to sit on this throne and hope for a wish. But before you ever get a wish, you want to decide what you're going to wish for. I want speed boots. I want to be very fast. Okay. Stash all your gold because you might lose it. Um, Alt set. And it did a create monster for me. So if I were worried about these, I would use my ring of conflict. I'll just kill them. No worries, but the throne is still here. Alt. Well, let's check for items. A scroll of teleportation. I want to get a few of those for level porting. Alt sit. It teleported me. Okay. I'm going to eat the ice troll. Why? So he won't come back to life. If I can get him all the way eaten before he comes back to life, he won't come back to life. And it was about time for me to eat something anyway. All right, let's finish using that wand of speed monster. I've already zapped myself, so it does no good to zap myself again. Alt sit, alt sit, and it's gone. Didn't get a wish. Okay, okay, lots of monsters here. Um, the rules for waking up rooms full of monsters is different in 3.7. Um, a lot of monsters will scream and wake up everybody in the room. If they're already awake, they won't scream. And I don't think bats can scream and spiders can't scream. I could go stand in the doorway to kill all these guys, but they don't have me too worried now. Huh. Famous last words, right? Okay. Giant spider, okay. Killed before he screamed. He wakes up and he screams. So he's he would wake up everybody in the room, which is why, oh, he woke up a sergeant or somebody with a bugle. So now all the uh, soldiers left on the level will be awake. But no worries. They'll come get me full healing. Awesome. Stash W. Let's pick up the gold. Not that I need it. Scroll of Earth. Got a couple of them already. Potion to gain level. Potions. Apply B in potions, spell books, and scrolls. Potion called Restore. So I'm picking up the gold on all these levels, checking everything out. I already have a stethoscope. I want that spell book. And I'm burdened again. Potion of Speed. Pick up potions of speed because all those potions of healing. Um, put my money in. Um, food ration. Dip your potions of healing. It's hard to talk and play at the same time, you know? And dip potions of healing into potions of speed. FG. Okay, I'm burdened. Let's see if I can get unburdened. What can I drop? Um, blessed Elven Daggers are great. I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop some of these weapons. D, Shift D, right parenthesis. I'm going to drop my darts. Don't need them anymore. Uh, probably. I'm going to drop my stash of regular daggers and my blessed Elven Daggers. I've only got three of them. They might be really good, but I've only got three of them. I'm no longer burdened. Oh, yeah. Never hit a leprechaun with gold in your main inventory. He'll be back. Walking shoes. All right. Here's my last big... Okay. He... I'm going to step out of the line of fire and kill him one at a time here. There might be another wand of death in here. There might be potions that they'll throw, that I don't want them to throw, like the one that's there. Step into the doorway, and I know there's a potion here. It's enlightenment. I don't want that to get destroyed. 
stick it in my bag. Okay. Check. Yeah, two portions of enlightenment. Okay. Five dot. If there's nobody to fight, I do five dot to wait up to five turns. Is that it? It's not everybody. All right, that's most of them. One more time. Check for good weapons. Check for good armor. Don't need the food. Don't need the scroll of light. Um, figurine of a giant spider. I want because it's good poly fodder. Oops. M P. Okay. Did I? Sorry. Yeah, I did put it in. This is going to burden me, but I want it for poly. Oh, it didn't. Um, put it in my bag. Got a couple of large boxes. Alt loot. That one's empty. Alt loot. And we've got a potion and a ring. Love it. Okay, now I'm hungry. I killed a bunch of stuff here. If I said eat, what happens if I say E for eat? Yeah, it knows. I don't want to eat the corpses, but I'll eat one of those. Okay, um, I have almost finished exploring this level. Keep the magic mapping. I'm going to head back to my stash. Juice, don't care. Bear trap. Food ration. All right, I will check out. I'm going to kick this door because I've got nobody else to sleep on this level. Now I've identified the downstairs and I can use the move to command. Throw star P down, throw my pickaxe down. Let's see if he's got anything I'm interested in. The citrine stone I am interested in. Scroll it to, I don't want to buy it. Water, yeah. That uh, potion of water only costs $5. It's not cursed or uncursed. Oh, for two emeralds and a turquoise spell book. Giant Mimic, Golden Potion, Egg, Whistle. That whistle is called Knot because I price identified it and it was not magic. No, I blew it and it wasn't magic. Okay, apply the in unpaid items. They all go in. I got a spell book, a couple of potions, and some gems. They all go in. Apply the out dollars. Let's get, what, $6,000. Um, pay, itemized billing, no. Oh, that wasn't enough. Apply be out dollars. Get another $5,000. Pay, no. Okay, he moved out of the way. Apply be in dollars. Um, I'm not going to make you... Okay, I'm going to do the far move. Far move to the upstairs. I'm not going to make you watch me go all the way back home, but I do want to show you um, when I come up here the quest leader talks to me ignore him I don't care I'm hungry again I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to visit my stash and show you what I do when I get there all right I visited my stash or I'm at my stash I just killed a green elf here um, he's heavy but I want to sacrifice him Movement is difficult, and I'm stressed. You don't want to move very far when you're stressed. You want to be very careful moving when you're stressed. Or a Leocrata or other fast monster is going to show up and kill you before you know what you did. Alt-O, what do you want to sacrifice? V, four-leaf clover. That means that my prayer timeout has expired, and I can safely pray here. Um, my luck level. I have not finished the quest. I don't want to... Just stay and run my luck up. My, my luck's decent. I'm going to go ahead and pray. To do that, though, first, potions. I want to see if I have any regular water here or anything I can turn into water. Yes, I have F. Potions called water. These were already blessed. Uh, I don't know what my murky potion is. All right, I'll get those items out. I'll be out. Potions. I want to get all my water out of here. F and G and drop all my potions. Okay, oops, 
GW, with them dropped on the altar. Now I can pray on the altar, and my uncursed potions called water are going to turn into holy water. Alt P. I know I can pray because my prayer time had expired. Okay. So the potions uh, glowed, and I got blessed potions called water, and I'll pick them up. And I got the first of the two. I'll, I'll show you what it said. Um, but I must play the right tune. If I pray at this altar some more, I'll get the tune to play to open the drawbridge of the castle. I used to like that, or I would play Mastermind, but now I just get a scroll of earth for boulders if I need them and zap the portcullis, zap the drawbridge with a uh, wand of striking loot in potions because they're heavy. All right, now I'm going to... Oh, you notice I've been putting a boulder over my stash. That'll keep almost all the monsters off my stash. Um, if I could drop a boulder and a scroll of scare monster there, it's in pretty good shape. Even, uh, I think giants won't step there if there's a scroll of scare monster there. Let's get the good stuff. Well, first, uh, shift D, shift X. All the stuff that I picked up that I want to bless uncurse, curse, identify. I want my elven dagger and my rings. Okay, black. So I got one curse. Let me pick up my elven dagger. Um, I've got six uncursed elven daggers. That's a good stack. Just lead a Q and put those in my quiver. Okay, uh, I'm going to try these guys on, the ones that aren't uh, cursed. Put Y on, yeah. And it did not self-identify, remove Y. Um, now pick up A, put J, and it did not self-identify, remove J. Okay. Out potions. Get all these potions, including the potions of enlightenment. Drop potions. Okay, what do we got? I have a blessed potion of enlightenment. And I got a blessed potion of gain. I got some good stuff here. I usually don't drink full healings or any healing potions unless they're blessed, because you get more hit points out of them. My hit points are 140. Q, W. My hit points are now 148, max hit points. Let's pick up that gain level H. Q, Y. Experience level 18, and got some more hit points. Let's pick up my Blessed Potion of Enlightenment. Before I quaff it, I'm going to put one of those rings on. My Let's try my Coral Ring. And Q, now my, yeah, it's blessed. My Intelligence is 17, my Wisdom is 15. I'm going to Q L. You feel smart, you feel wise. It has bumped those two attributes up. Now I'm self-knowledgeable. When you see this stuff, you think, oh, it's a lot of text. Skip over it. I don't care. Don't. Um, uh, you want to read it. I don't care about this stuff here. Piously aligned, okay. Magic protection, because I have cloak and magic protection. I'm fire, cold, sleep, shock, and poison resistance, so I have all the basic resistances. Telepathic, automatic searching. Um, because I'm a tourist, I'm stealthy, good to know, and good to remember. I aggravate monsters. I'm tr I think I got that intrinsic in this game earlier. I'm wearing a plus something ring of increased damage. So that's what causes this. I'm guarded, meaning I have decent magic magic cancellation faster. Okay, unless that ring is a ring of aggravate monsters, I don't know what the ring is. But you, I mean, if it said you cause conflict, you know, you'd know you have a ring of conflict. I cannot safely pray. Okay. Uh, the other uh, potion. Do I want to take time? Yeah. No. I want to get through my. Uh, uh, I want to get through my tutorial here, so I'll skip what I was going to. I'm going to pick up one arrow, one A, just V to D. I'm going to dip that arrow. I'll dip D into what? My uncursed murky potion. I'm going to dip it to see if it's. One of the bad ones, J. If it says inter interesting, your your eye quaff it. Um, Q. What do I want to Q? J. Oh, what was that? Okay, that's booze. Booze. Is it Z E? Booze. Okay, I U apply U until I'm no longer. It doesn't matter though. A tip D into what? My golden potion D. Oh, <laughs> fat fingered it. Okay, oily. That was a potion of oil. D, D. 
I'm going to pick up another arrow, 1C. I'll adjust V to C to D. You'll notice I'm burdened here. If I get in trouble, if a nasty monster shows up, I can drop my potions or put them in my bag or my chest so I'm not too concerned. I'll dip D into what? Into F. Interesting, so I can cue F. That was juice. Two, I already have a juice. It could have been C invisible. It's either juice or C invisible. Now I'll stash the rest of the potions. I'll loot in potions. I'm not going to use that potion of enlightenment yet or any of the others. I'll just stash them for now. Okay, out all. Let's get that money out. I don't want to carry all that money in dollars. Um, I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in ten thousand dollars. I don't know why I put my dollars in my stash and even thousands. So that I did that because it's heavy. D Y. Um, I want to carry some money because there might be more gems and shops in my quest. Loot stash Y. Out all my scrolls except for G and N. Drop scrolls. Okay. Uh, a blessed scroll of identify. Evident magic mapping. There's some good stuff there. Put it all in. I want to come back and use it, but I don't want to bore you with it now. I'll save that for my next video. Now all spell books. Spellbooks are heavy. Have you noticed? Stash dollars. Let's re-identify these guys. But first, stash my money. Make sure there are no nasty monsters on the level. There's a leprechaun and a peaceful unicorn. Remove E. Okay, cross your fingers. Hope I don't die. F. That's light. I love light. D. F. A. Read. I. Dig. Dig is a high level spell. It's plus, it's a, a level five matter spell. Um, I was lucky that it, I got away with it. Read W. Ha. Yeah. Okay, somebody's throwing something at me. Uh, I've got a uh, barrel, right? If he has a scroll, a, a wand of, of, uh, he doesn't, but if he had a wand of fire, he could kill, you know, burn up all my scrolls in my, or my spell books in my pile. I was reading. Read what? W. Now that's another high level spell. Tames monsters. Create familiar. Read D. Cause fear. Read J. Turn undead. I was hoping for identify or magic mapping. Didn't get it. Okay, out. All. Got some wands, my figurine, and my stone, and my other stones. I'll just put them all in for now. I've already prayed. I'm heading back down. I'm going to pause the video and head back down and pick up my quest again. Okay, I'm back. I'm going down to the next quest level. All right. I could use one of my scrolls of magic mapping here. I have that lamp. used to be a magic lamp. That'll be a fully charged lamp. And um, I'll use it. Gain ability. Love it. Healing. Love it. Put them in my bag. Food rations. I'm hungry. Turn off my lamp to eat because it takes a few turns. Eat one of those guys. Got a captain. They sometimes come with silver sabers. What was that message? Spider web. I don't care. Did he pick up anything good? Oh, he had a scroll of teleport. Do me scroll of teleportation? Nice. All right. Let's finish exploring this one side of the dungeon before I go to the next. Apply L because I'm going to move a ways. Turn off my light. Apply L. Captain. Potion called water. Stick it in my bag. And a stone giant. This level always has a, a giant on it. All right, now I'm satiated. Um, do I have a ring of hunger? 
I do put H. Oh, I've still got a coral ring remove. Why? That was from my enlightenment. Put H. Did he leave me any gems? No. Worthless glass. Love scrolls of gold detection. I don't ascend until I have four of them, and I often have to use magic marker for them. Holly fodder. I don't care about the confused monster spell, but I love the um, the poly fodder. I'm gonna not kill him right away. I'm gonna not kill the other giant. Why? Because if I were to lose my gauntlets of power, the T wheeled Asian, um, it might be good. To, you know, I, I might want all the strength I can get. I'm going to try and avoid those guys. The giant's fairly slow. The um, giant mummy seems to be a little faster, but that's most of this level. Apply L. Now, come on, guys. Step away from the stairs. Mummies, I think, follow you up and down the stairs. And I don't want him to follow me. I'm wearing my ring of hunger, so I'll hunger quickly. Why? Remove curse, stash, oh, what was he, maybe NP. Okay, these guys didn't leave me anything. This is the bottom level. My quest nemesis is on this level, but he won't wake up until I get close. Qu uh, bosses are much tougher. If Without that um, scroll of, the blessed scroll of teleportation, um, I would be afraid to wake him. With my, so there he is, quest nemesis. There we got some soldiers and keystone cops. We got a couple of um, uh, stores here. That I'm going to use so blind and deaf. So I stepped on a um, a magic trap. Throw star P down. My cursed pickaxe, or he wouldn't let me in the store. Oh, I'm still blind. Apply you to get unblind. All right, food ration, apron. That's polyfodder. It's magic armor. Stethoscope. I got one. The deeper you go, the more mimics you find in your shops. More polyfodder. Yeah, why not? Remove curse. Water. Apply B in unpaid. Put all that stuff in. Dollars. Get out my money. Pay not itemized billing. Okay. Pick up my pickaxe again. A harp. That'd be nice if it were a magic harp and I wanted a pet, but I I used to not play without pets until one of my videos somebody said, Why don't you play with a pet? And I thought, yeah, why don't I play with a pet? So I now start the games with pets, and I keep them if I can until I find an altar. Throw star P down. Tin. Scroll of Earth, not going to use it. Scroll of Teleportation, not going to buy it. Wand of Walking, don't care. Worthless, Remove Curse. Um, I'm, I can't cast Remove Curse yet, so I want to collect those. Velvet Spellbook. That Good stuff. Potion. Tin. Okay. Apply D in. Unpaid. Put all that stuff in. Pay. Not itemized billing. Okay. In dollars. I'll put the rest of my money in the bag. Don't need it now. Let's finish exploring this level. Squeaky board. Scroll of identify. Put it in my bag. What potion is that? Sleeping, if you'll remember, sleeping is smoky. That could be a wish right there. So it's definitely worth stepping on the squeaky board. Okay. Continue my explorations. There is a graveyard on this level. I might get another wraith corpse or two. That was a wand of secret door detection. Didn't I name a wand secret? I have a wand of secret door detection. Okay, the one that I named secret must have been something else. 
Okay, there's the hidden door, and I am stealthy, so I'm going to step into this room, and as long as I don't attack something that's going to wake up and scream... Uh-oh, he groaned. <laughs> Shoot, what did I just say? I want to get out of here. Somebody drained my level. It said Aloha, level 18. Yeah. Okay, welcome back to level 18. Shoot. I didn't know giant zombies would groan. Okay, I've only got three of them left. But let's lure them upstairs, upstairs off of the graveyard level and see if I can get a corpse. I did not. I'm still wearing my ring of hunger. Let's kill this guy and eat the corpse. It's a giant corpse. It could kill me. But I have a unicorn horn in case it's tainted. I had to kill him because I wasn't very careful. All right. Um, we are luring wraiths. Come here, Mr. Wraith. And I'm already satiated. If I eat a wraith corpse, there's a chance I could choke. But I've been wearing my ring of hunger long enough that I think I'm fine. Five dot, five dot. Scroll of teleportation. He probably picked it up. And he'll probably read it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. He'll be back. We'll meet him again. All right, moving on. Whoops, don't hit the shift key when you move. If you don't want to kick the door, shift, or search, I mean, kick the door. Got a whole bunch of, and there's an incubus. Kill them all in the doorway. Okay, I want that towel. Whoops, D-E, okay, drop my blindfold. Y to E and move my new towel into that spot so I can clean myself up if I get another greased tin or get greased some other way. Potion of blindness. You can also dip those in unicorn horns and turn them into water. Right? Can you? I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on it. I want to put that wand of light in my bag. It's good to carry a spare one of those if you can't cast the light spell. Nice. Several objects, nothing worth keeping. This has already been a long video, but I should finish the quest quickly here with any luck. Uh, should have killed the spiders first. They don't scream. Oh. That's a peaceful centaur, because I'm neutral and he's neutral. Cloak of Invisibility, that's Poly Fodder. Potion Invisibility, I don't care. Okay, did I miss anything? Loot the chest. Scroll of Identify, and two emeralds. Put them in the bag. Okay, I could go through this door right here, but that would just get the Keystone Cops on me, and I don't want to do that. So, a couple more rooms to explore. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten him, but I'm still wearing the Ring of Hunger. I shouldn't have eaten him. I should have just taken off my Ring of Hunger. Okay, what can I kill that won't scream? Cockatrice is probably won't. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a peaceful centaur. Shift F. I'm going to kill him anyway because he might have some stuff I want. Yellow mold. Spherical amulet. Don't know what it is. Okay, I promise I'm getting close to the quest nemesis. The, uh, le the, I'm going to explore these last few levels. Including, I don't want to use succubuses for gain level, just because it takes too much time. Spellbook. Spellbook. Put them in my bag. I will kill the quest nemesis. I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish out this level. Um, kill the, oh, sure, 
take off my, don't take off anything else, don't take off anything else, just my robe and my body armor. Um, okay, she didn't give me a level. It's nice when they do. Now, don't forget to put everything back on. Armor, robe, gloves, hat. That's why I always put my armor in the same inventory slot so I can get dressed without looking at the inventory. Now, these guys are going to wake up if they aren't already awake. But it's nice to be two weaponing with strong weapons and one of them being Grace Wander. But they see how far they took me down. I would have been smarter to step back out of the doorway, but I get overconfident. Then I get dead. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Okay, did I miss anything good? Dash W. Okay, I'm going to 55 dot. Okay. Um, kick the door down. That doesn't stop the quest nemesis from meditating. Get out, get out my scrolls. There's my blessed scroll of teleportation. Turn on my lamp in case it's dark. He should pick up the Platinum Yandorian Express card, and he's got the Silver Bell. I'm not strong enough to take him on. What he would do is he'd, I'd hit him a few times. He'd teleport to here and heal up. And then I'd get down to about here, and he'd teleport in, hit me hard, and go heal up. He heals faster than I do. I'm going to read I, and this should let me... Choose where I'm going to teleport to because this is NetHack 3.7. Where do you want to be teleported? Less than to the upstairs case dot. And now I'm just going to hang out 55 dot. He's going to teleport to me. He can't get on the stairs, so he can't run away upstairs. But he's still going to hit me hard. He's got a wand of striking. Lucky for me, he might just sit here and empty this whole wand at me and not do any damage at all. Now he's going to say mean things to me. That's okay. I can use my um, stethoscope. Apply C that way. He's only got 75 hit points. Let's see what happens if I hit him double weapon where one of them's Grace One Deer. I hit him, I hit him. Apply C that way. He's down to 20. I did 50 points damage. Okay. Now, he probably would have... I killed him, but he probably would have killed me if I did not have a blessed scroll of enchant or, uh, teleportation. Just a warning. I'm going to pick up don't care about the digging or the striking, but C and D. Okay, it says i got to return it to two flower. No, I don't. Now, what I do want to do with that, though, is I'm going to adjust I, my Yandorian Express, adjust I to Y. Always put it in the same place. I have two rings of increased damage. I'm going to apply Y. Oops, apply Y. Hang on. What did I do? Yeah, apply Y. Apply Y. What direction? That's my Platinum Yandorian Express card. Okay, I've run into something I don't understand. It should let me... Oh, I invoke it. Okay, commands change with different versions. Hashtag... I think I can just do Alt-I. Alt-I. What do you want to invoke? Y. What do you want to charge? I have an unknown ring of increased damage and a plus one. I'm fairly safe charging my ring of increased damage. Since it's only plus one, it might explode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose Shift B. It spins clockwise for a moment. And now if I look at my rings, it's gone from one to plus four, which is awesome. I'm two weaponing. When I hit with my Grace Wandair, it'll add four to the damage. And when I hit with my other Silver Saber, it will add four to the damage. Awesome. I'm going to wait for a while and identify that other ring of increased damage and charge it. Remove my ring of hunger. Okay, I'm about done with this video. Oh, there's that uh, wraith. And he didn't leave me a corpse. Um, I want to go back and visit my quest leader and use the... Stop kicking for a centaur. Did you leave me anything good? Scroll called confused. Do I eat him? No, I just had my ring of hunger on. Um, use the throne for my quest nemesis leader. All right, he's happy. He sees me, tells me to keep the quest artifacts. Now I say hashtag chat. Chat to who? 
I'm going to chat to my quest leader. What direction? That would be left. Once you chat, so some quest leaders have thrones. If you chat with them, they will leave their throne. So he talks to me, and he wandered off. So if I, I got a chest here and a throne. I don't want to sit on the chest. Pick up the chest. Movement's difficult. Don't go very far, but drop it. Loot the chest. Um, my luck is decent, and the poison needle missed me. It wouldn't hurt me anyway. Loot out all. A couple of spell books. Awesome. Gain energy. Love those things. EMP. Burden, but put him in and I'm okay. There's a chance I'll get a wish from this throne. What I want to wish for, if I get a wish, is speed boots. Alt, sit. And didn't get a wish. No worries. Now that I'm carrying the Platinum Endurance Express card, I can see hidden monsters like those. Don't care about them. I'm stunned. Apply you. Oh, yeah, that was it. All right, this is all I want to show in this video. I have completed the quest. Thanks for watching the first of my concise net hack videos about ascending a tourist. There will be more with this same character following. Thanks for watching.